All right, guys, today we're going to talk about how to utilize Cloudflare to improve your WordPress website's load time. All right, guys, so lately I got challenged into figuring out how I can make our website load faster. And I wanted to share how exactly I ended up getting there myself. Now, there's a few different angles that you may look for when it comes to site speed, load times, and trying to improve them. Things like large images, things like useless code or code that's just not utilized. And there are many different angles that you could take this from. For me, I ended up finding one avenue that made a great improvement on our site, and I want to make sure to share it. And that was through DNS. So DNS is a way to tell browsers where that website actually sits, what server does it live on, how do I get there? And it, it turns out that different DNS providers offer different value when it comes to site load times. In this example, we're going to go through a, a little bit of an experiment, which is going to go through seeing a site when it's utilizing GoDaddy's DNS management tool versus what I consider one of the best DNS management tools. And to be fair, it does a little bit more is Cloudflare. Now these two side by side probably don't really compare that well in that Cloudflare is just, it's way more than just DNS management. But at its core fundamental line, it, it offers DNS management as a good tool. Now we're gonna see how we can go with a WordPress website with GoDaddy versus Cloudflare and see what improvements we can get by just switching DNS over to Cloudflare. All right, so to get things started, we need to do a few different steps. Firstly, we needed to register a domain. I'm gonna be doing that through GoDaddy. We're again going to be setting up a WordPress site. We're gonna be utilizing WP Engine in this, in this case. We're then gonna set up a base demo website onto that WordPress site utilizing Salient. And then we're going to be utilizing Pingdom tools in order to actually get baseline tests of the site speed. Um, other ones like GT metrics are great as well. Uh, I'm just, for this demo, Pingdom, I find really easy to visually look at and just see what's going on. So we're gonna utilize these four different tools to show, um, to get things set up and to measure how fast the site is. I'm gonna go through, get them ready, let's go. Awesome. All right, so our domain is secured. We have our how fast is my dot site, so we can get that ready to set up. Now we need to move across to WP Engine and get our WordPress install ready to go. Okay, so in my case, we already have a WP Engine uh, account. If you need a new one, they've got pricing all that on their website. Really fast host. Um, this is probably not uh, a true representation of how fast the site would be because honestly, WP Engine, uh, they already optimized their servers to provide a really quick service. So our sites, when we set up here, should be already faster than if you went with something like GoDaddy. But the same sort of effect will occur where utilizing our tactic here that we're going through, we're going to be providing the best sort of speed we can through this one tactic. So let's, I'm gonna sign in, I'm gonna get a, an account set up and I'm gonna get things ready to go.
Okay, so now we have the basic setup of our W Engine WordPress install. What we need to do is we need to connect the site so that when someone searches for how fast is my dot site, it will show up with our actual website. So let me go ahead and go back to GoDaddy, utilize GoDaddy's own DNS management tool in order to see how fast does it run when we utilize this. Okay, so in the DNS management area here, we're gonna manage our DNS. We're gonna go back to WP Engine here real quick, just so we can grab uh, the A record required. So this is how we can tell where to point the website to. At the moment, uh, there's an A record, which is just parked. It's a parked domain. If you go to the website, it's just showing one of those, your website is registered with GoDaddy style uh, messages. Anyway, we're gonna replace this with our actual IP address that we need. When someone accesses the dub 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 version, it's just gonna point back to the A record, so we do not need to make any change there. Now, if we, uh, we need to let WP Engine, we, we just need a little bit of time, this is a WP Engine thing more than anything, just to know uh, that that DNS has changed, that now it needs to know to look at how fast is my site, uh, when someone searches for that, when it goes to the A record, it needs to look in WP Engine, hey, where am I going to? So we just need to, allow to uh, let it to wait about uh, 10 minutes for it to flick over, and then we should be able to access our new site. Our site is now finished uh, setting up through WP Engine, our SSLs are all registered, so now we can go to our website, we can go to how fast is my site, and we should see a blank WordPress website at the moment, like they just put default and nothing on this website, and you know what? Fair. I don't know what I would put on there either if I was just setting up a blank site. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're now going to install the demo theme that we found. This one here, which is a salient theme. Uh, you can get it on Envato Market. Uh, I'm sure you can get other ones all over the place, but I just, I like to utilize Theme Forest. It's a pretty good site. And this is the general theme that we're going to set up onto the site. We're going to leave all the demo content. If there's anything broken on the site, I'm just going to leave it. I don't really care that much unless everything's broken and then there's clearly something wrong. But uh, let me go through. I'm going to set up the site and get things ready to go so that we can then do a baseline speed test and find out how fast the site is currently going. So now we have the demo theme on. We can check the site out. We can see here uh, that we can we can see the site live, all with the demo content. Nothing special, uh, but you know looks impressive if you put actual real content in that. Uh, and we can see all the images. So we have a fully functioning site now. What we can do is we can go to ping them, and we can run these tests. <laughs> So for me, I'm in Australia, I'm going to run this against Australian servers, uh, wherever you sit, obviously run them against whatever server you prefer. Now we're just going to run this through a few times, just so we get a consistent or a consistent enough result. I'm going to run it through Pingdom five times, just to get hopefully some sort of like general number that is very closely the same between each. I do find with WP Engine, uh, the way that it handles caching is the first time it's going to be a longer load and then the following times are typically shorter. Not by a huge amount, but you know, a little bit. So in this case, uh, our site loaded in 2.69 seconds with 59 requests of 1.5 megabytes of data with a performance grade of 78. Now bear in mind, all we're doing in this is trying to reduce that load time number. That 2.69, we want to reduce that down. We can then see all the specific uh, requests inside here. So we can see uh, the the DNS time or the, the wait time for the actual site itself is about a second, which is pretty long. Um, but I've been finding a lot of our sites with WP Engine have been taking this long, or not this long, but have been taking a decent amount of milliseconds to wait for the response. This is one that I would love to reduce down further that I haven't fully investigated further. 
But then we can see all the assets load pretty much at the same time. We do have a few then that load in the second batch and then the fav icon at the very end. So we're gonna run this now another four times. Let's see how that goes. All right, so at this stage, it seems like Pingdom has actually stored the results of our, our other ones and he's just returning me the exact same results every time. So I think because I'm trying to query Pingdom too often, uh, it's not actually allowing me to redo the site. We're gonna try add a question mark A at the end just to give it a different URL here, but it, it doesn't look like it's liking me just requesting the same URL within like a few seconds. So I think potentially we might have to stick with the fact that the first load here was 2.69, the second load was 2.51. We'll see what this question mark A does. In theory, that's a new URL that it's requesting, but a lot of those assets probably have been cached from WP Engine side of things. Okay, so it's basically 2.5. So we're gonna say for the initial load, 2.69 seconds, for the secondary loads and beyond, roughly 2.5, one to three. I'll just give it a range of 2.5 to 2.6 and 2.7 as the initial load. That will make it nice and easy, nice, nice hold numbers for us to work with. So now we need to look at what we have to do with the DNS. So let's take a look at Cloudflare. Cloudflare is a service that is specifically made or was originally specifically made as a DNS manager. It is honestly has grown so massively to cover, encompass so many different angles that are not just DNS related anymore. And we're gonna be utilizing this. This is the service that if you do not have a dedicated DNS manager at the moment, like say you are using GoDaddy at the moment as your DNS manager for your domain, I'd recommend jumping across to this. Uh, let's start off by adding our domain in. So we have a few domains in here already. I'm just gonna quickly add our new one in. So we're gonna go how fast is my site and not with the HTTPS, my bad. We just wanna provide it the domain. What it's gonna allow us to do is we can sign up to a paid account if we want, but for us, we're just gonna be utilizing the free account. Um, there's no need here to get fancy and, and get a, a paid account. What it's gonna do is it's gonna scan your current DNS records and look up to see what they currently have. So that it brings it in automatically. Now with any service, automatic looks up, lookups are pretty good, but they don't always cover everything. Make sure that if you are making this change, that you go through your current DNS records and make sure that they've all come through uh, as you expect them to. So in our case, we just have our A record, which is pointing to the server and the dub 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 and some domain connector I'm just gonna leave in here for, that's a GoDaddy one, but I'm just gonna leave it. We then need to replace our DNS, our name server. So let's go across to GoDaddy again, and I'm still in the DNS manager. In here, we wanna change our name servers. And so at the moment, it's just using GoDaddy default ones. We want to manually enter our own in. So we wanna put our two in that it provides here. We want to copy and paste those in and hit save. GoDaddy is going to ask for confirmation that you definitely want to do this because if you do change your name servers, your DNS records are not set up correctly. Say you may, if you have email currently on here, but they don't come through on Cloudflare, you will stop receiving emails. So you need to make sure 100% that your DNS records have come through correctly. We have, uh, because we only have three entries in ours, so I'm going to hit continue. And then from a Cloudflare perspective, we wanna hit done, check name servers, and get started through this quick start guide. Now, these are specific to WP Engine uh, and how I know these sites need to be set up. You will wanna work with your, with your web developer if you have one, or if you are the web developer, then go through and figure out the options that are best for you. In, our, in my case with WP Engine, I'm leaving the automatic, automatic HTTPS rewrites on. I'm turning on the always use HTTPS. I'm turning on to auto minify all these, uh, all these files. I'm utilizing Brotly and that's, that's it. So basically now Cloudflare is waiting. It's basically saying, hey, has you, have you changed your name servers over on GoDaddy yet? And honestly, give it five minutes It'll, it'll usually be switched over. If you haven't had a site that's been sitting around for years, if it's a brand new site like we're doing here, the change of name servers really can be quite quick. So I'm gonna wait for these to change over before we can then load up our site ourselves. 
and then rerun through the speed test to see how much faster is this site actually going. Okay, so after a while, you'll eventually get to this screen. Uh, it was probably more like 10-15 minutes, 5 minutes was a bit of a stretch. Before uh, we switch to the site, we need to make sure one setting has changed. So for this is specifically WP Engine, uh, with SSL TLS, we want to change this is specifically on full. We need to make sure it's on full strict when we uh, before we access the site. Otherwise, uh, it causes a signing issue with the HTTPS uh, side of things. So now we go back to our site and technically this should be a lot quicker. Who knows? I mean, visually, did it look quicker? I don't know, it's hard to tell to be honest. So that's why we utilize tools like Pingdom to actually fully test. Now, before we do that, we're going to just purge the cache here. And we're gonna purge everything just so we give it a fair chance. You know, like we, we wanna make sure it's, it's, it's gonna be fair. And in WP Engine as well, we're just going to, well, I just did it here, but we want to utilize the clear cache uh, option as well, just to, again, give it a fair chance. Let's now go back and actually run a Pingdom test. So, how fast is my site? Let's go to Sydney servers. Let's start a test. Let's bear in mind before it was at 2.69 seconds on 1.5 megabytes, 59 requests. I mean, the requests won't change. The size probably won't change either. It's all going to be about this time. So, Pingdom, what do you got for us? How fast is the site now? Is it any faster? That's the real question. <laughs> okay, sorry, I ran into a quick issue that had to cut. Uh, and we can see now on our initial test, 1.09 seconds, which is amazing i mean it's uh it's more than half so 2.69 and 2.5 and now it's basically a second now you would notice here that the performance grade went down so it went from 78 to a 75. i don't know specifically why that is the number of requests stayed the same the megabytes did go down like the total size of the page did go down why that performance grade goes down when the speed of the site is a lot faster that I have no idea. And if we expand out to see all the requests, we can see here that of the time, 600 milliseconds of that was on the initial site URL. And so looking at these previous ones, this was at 765 on the repeat visit. And on the initial visit, it was uh, basically a second. So now if we run tools.pingdom again and reload the site, but with a different URL just to continue. Oh my God, I went Europe. Oh no, that's, well, let's let's see how fast Europe is. But basically we, um, I mean, we, we cut that site down by more than half uh, through this one technique. Now, obviously bigger sites, larger database calls, uh, bigger images, all these different things weigh in on how the site loads. Uh, we didn't do a Europe test beforehand and Europe loading this site is 6.26 seconds. It is on the other side of the world for me though. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be fair and say that that is a fair speed. But honestly, the, the amount of time that you can save by just utilizing Cloudflare is insane. Like I, I don't understand how it fully works in that it optimizes all these different things, but the site speed just becomes tremendous. So that time it was 1.53 seconds. So doing a few different tests, we get one second, we get 1.53. So it is a bit varied. We did get pretty consistent here with another 600 milliseconds. So not fully consistent. And I, I don't believe there's many external calls here. Like there is a couple of Google font calls in this site uh, with the demo, but for the most part, uh, in fact, 88% of the calls are to the actual URL itself and the rest are to Google fonts. So that's it guys, we're utilizing Cloudflare to improve the DNS calls and to utilize and take advantage of Cloudflare's uh, tools and assets that it allows to utilize some websites faster. And so that's it guys, we've gone through, we changed the site, I, I can't believe still that that was almost half the time or more than half the time to load that site. I mean, sure it was just the 20 second to one and a half seconds in the end, but more than half the site speed load time reduced there. And that's without even looking at images, image sizes, 
without looking at code reduction. Like I'm sure there is many calls in there that probably could be removed uh, because we are utilizing a demo theme, demo content. So it's not really optimized at the moment. I'm sure taking that on another level, it would get to the minute side where we've taken this big, large win and now we're just trying to find all the small, tiny improvements. But guys, taking a site from 2.69 seconds to one to one and a half seconds, pretty awesome by just switching DNS. Anyway, until next time, peace.